I think the treatments that we have uh, come to accept as standard of care for uh, rectal cancer are, are really based in large part uh, on, on what we have been doing for the last several, several decades. I think the most recent major advancement that we've made uh, in the field has been the incorporation of total neoadjuvant therapy into the care of patients with uh, locally advanced uh, uh, rectal cancer, as, as evident in this study, where the control arm is now uh, total neoadjuvant therapy. I think that's now an established uh, standard, uh, one established standard uh, across the country and, and, and even developing across the world. I think the opportunities in the rectal cancer patient population are are really, uh, this is a really good time to be uh, thinking about this because we've also seen recent evidence at, uh, at the ASCO annual meeting uh, in 2020 related to the results, uh, some exciting results of short course radiation uh, appearing to uh, be uh, uh, perhaps uh, just as beneficial for patients as long course radiation. Of course, we need to uh, validate those results in the in the U.S. Uh, but that would be a that would be a major uh, shift in the provision of care for patients if we can reduce the uh, total duration of treatment that they need from five and a half or six weeks down to uh, down to one week of therapy. Uh, that would be uh, that would be a major advancement in the field, so long as it doesn't come with any. Uh, uh, unrecognized uh, downsides for, for the patients or for their cancer outcomes. I think ultimately we really need though to move into an era in rectal cancer away from kind of a one size fits all approach where just because they have a certain stage of rectal cancer, they receive a certain approach to their care. I think we need to be more nuanced in looking at the genomic profile of their rectal cancer, uh, calling out certain groups of molecular subsets, mm -hmm. those that are HER2 positive, treating them with HER2 agents, those that are MSI high or mismatched repair deficient, treating them with checkpoint inhibitor therapy, um, uh, and considering, considering tailoring based on the molecular profiling of patients, uh, the, the way in which we might be able to optimize the amount of, of, of anti-cancer therapy that can, be, uh, that can be successfully given. And then ultimately tailoring uh, whether or not everyone truly needs all three modalities of, of uh, treatment uh, related to their rectal cancer. Some patients may not need radiation. Uh, that's an ongoing study that uh, we're waiting for the results uh, from the prospect trial investigators to see if uh, just chemotherapy alone uh, can uh, shrink cancers enough to be able to successfully remove them uh, without uh, interfering with long-term uh, success rates and survival. Uh, and that would be another opportunity for, for patients. And, and other patients may not need the chemotherapy. They may just need uh, a perhaps short course radiation and then move straight into uh, surgery and to have that, uh, have that completing their cancer care. The, the flip side and the really exciting area, I think moving forward in rectal cancer is how can we get enough uh, success with our uh, chemotherapy and or radiation though to avoid needing surgery altogether. And this is a huge uh, area of interest that's ongoing. This is where I think we're going to see uh, development of circulating tumor DNA and the uh, incorporation of, uh, of kind of uh, all, uh, all new uh, innovative opportunities looking at uh, personalizing therapy and personalizing treatment response, uh, monitoring treatment response uh, for minimum residual disease along the course of therapy. If we see that therapy is working for a patient, we pick the right patient to be, we pick the right treatment to begin with in the right patient and see that it's working uh, with a high degree of certainty, we may be able to avoid surgery for these patients uh, and allow them to get on with their lives while still uh, maintaining uh, their bowel function uh, without a colostomy or other uh, permanent uh, 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 surgical problems to their pelvis.